How would you like to have your computer running like new for next to nothing? More stability, save on energy, and in general just to bring back the fun you used to have when you first bought it. I know most of us have computers that are a few years old, but I'm talking about changing the CPU. Yeah, first thing you need to do is locate the screws on the side panel on the back of your computer, unplug any power cords, unplug your monitor, your keyboard, make sure there's no cords plugged into the back, remove the side, take your computer and lay it down and you'll be able to see the motherboard on the inside. Your CPU is hiding underneath the CPU fan. The fan I like to use is a Corsair liquid cooled CPU. It's an all-in-one unit, it's sealed, you just screw it onto the the mounting bracket for the CPU on an AMD, it comes with mounting brackets for Intel or AMD. It's relatively cheap. Now you're gonna get more stability with the cooler CPU and they'll run faster for you. It's when they get hot that they tend to freeze and, and get shaky and actually shut down in some cases. I'll pass this around so you all can take a look at it. Now there will be a video that will show you how to take the cooling fan off and access the CPU. But right now, I would like to pass around a motherboard so everybody can take a good look at it and see the fan and see how everything goes together and how it, the mounting board is, is bolted to the bottom of the motherboard and the fan and the, the clamps and everything. So go ahead and pass this around and we'll talk about that later. Now there is, every motherboard has an ID number on it. Locate the ID number, it's usually next to the fan and you search this on eBay and it will tell you other CPUs that are compatible with your motherboard. This way you don't spend a couple of hundred dollars to get a CPU that doesn't work with your motherboard. This will ensure all CPUs are compatible with your motherboard. Uh, this is a, a picture of the brackets, the mounting brackets. Another picture of the thumb stud which flips up and it comes off. Now I'd like to show you a video of removing the fan and the CPU as well as putting it back Here we are disconnecting the power source, undoing the thumb clamp and removing the bracket. And that is thermal compound. You need to, to purchase some of that in order to help transfer the heat from your CPU to the cooling block. Now this is the CPU locking pin and you can remove the CPU. Make sure the pins are not bent and you don't get anything on the pins on the bottom of the CPU. Put your new one back in, close the locking pin, and then you'll go ahead and reinstall the fan back onto the, the motherboard. Fast, easy, and I didn't use any tools. Make sure you plug your fan back in. 
It's a one-way switch, so it only goes on there one way. And the CPU only goes on the motherboard one way. With the installation of a new CPU, your computer is going to run faster. It's going to run cooler. It's going to consume less energy. And think about it. There's a cool factor to replacing your own CPU and getting your hands on. Thank you.